Oh, sorry, those were my reptilian lizard drinking noises. What's up, Sushi Squad? We are back. Finally gonna be doing so. I'm hoping to do more videos like this. This is all the stuff that I've been doing behind the scenes is getting my universe set up. I don't know. I'm trying to get a consistent overlay uh, so that I can do these videos a lot easier where today is kind of like a reacting to comments video or something of sorts. Uh, I saw that this got pretty popular on YouTube recently and I thought that I might chime in most of all because I thought that it was an interesting idea uh, rather than just trying to copy something that everyone else is doing. I mean, you guys know me, I'm not playing Fortnite, right? Uh, what we're gonna be doing today is I asked you guys on my community tab assumptions about me. So basically, you guys leave comments of things that you assume about me uh, and then I just end up responding to that. So hopefully, I, I don't even know why I have these headphones in. So it should hopefully end up being a good time. All you want in life is Trove 8K on PlayStation 5. That's absolutely true. Obviously, this is my goal in life is to get a PS5, nag the developers of Trove to end up getting Trove on the PS5 uh, and have everybody start from scratch because I want even footing. I, I don't want people from PS4 to transfer their accounts uh, to the PS5. Assumption, you're only playing Trove at this point because variety content wouldn't support you monetarily. Nothing but love though, man. Uh, you're one of the few people that still sticks to Trove even though I think the general perception is that the game is dying. I wish nothing but the love of the almighty algorithm, success and happiness for you. That's so sweet. There, sorry guys, I had to change the background. It was, it was uh, it, like, I like the animated background, but unfortunately the video clip that I had behind me, it seemed that there was one frame where it flashed black. So I have to edit that out. So instead we get a static background, yay. Uh, so this is a common misconception. Uh, I can understand why people would think that I'm just playing Troll for the money. Uh, that is not true. I have had many games on the channel that I am sure if I continued playing them, uh, they would end up being more popular than the Trove series, uh, you know, just because the games themselves have a lot more roof on top of them. So take a game like Warframe or Destiny or something like that. But the difference being with those games is I can never like, I'm a rare card as far as YouTube is concerned because I can't really force myself to play these games if I'm not enjoying them. Uh, you know, like with Warframe and Destiny and stuff like that. Obviously those games uh, are a lot more popular than Trove. And so if I just keep playing them, keep playing them, keep playing them, I could probably break into the community. Uh, and then that would end up working out very well for me, obviously. But the thing is that I just, I don't know, like I can only play those games so much and then I just kind of lose interest. Whereas a game with uh, like Trove, it's like my favorite game ever. I still really appreciate the positivity though. Good message, man. <laughs> Here's another one. Assumption, you are tired slash bored of Trove, but it's decent money, so you keep doing it. Another assumption, your love for Trove has decreased because of inconsistency. By the way, Game Ago made a recruitment for Trove and layers to become admins, community manager, and game masters. I don't, I don't know, I don't even know what that means, that part about Game Ago. I mean, if they recruit me to be a game master, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Like, I just like being a player. <laughs> I mean, I could see them giving me like ultimate power and then I would just abuse it, which is exactly why they wouldn't give it to me. Uh, but no, Trove, like Trove had its low point, most definitely. Uh, there was a point where I just didn't want to deal with like trying worlds and all of their bullshit anymore. But since Game Ago's taken charge, honestly speaking, they've just proved time and time again that they are really, really capable, if not more capable of handling a game like Trove than Tryon Worlds was. So I'm actually really happy with where Trove has been going lately. I just wish that they would add more classes. Assumption, you are kind of worried about the YouTube thing flopping. Hope not. We love you. Thank you. I love you too. I don't know what you mean by this. Uh, I. I can only assume like I, I maybe I'm not reading between the lines enough here. Um, I think you're saying that I'm worried about not doing YouTube for a career full time, in which case I think that all content creators kind of deal with that because of the inconsistency. Um, I have no plans on like leaving YouTube. I, I love doing YouTube. This is the best job ever. And thank all of you guys for giving me the opportunity to do it. But I mean, I like I don't this is kind of a sappy story. 
Uh, but every time I end up getting paid from YouTube, and it's been years now where I've been making pretty much the same equivalent of a full-time living uh, for Canada, uh, you know, funds, I, I pretty much cry every time I get my paycheck because I'm just so happy to see that I'm still making a full-time living from doing this because I do have the conception that, uh, I don't know, that I'm not worth it or something like that or that the content itself isn't going to end up uh, generating that much uh, type of thing. I don't know. Like, it's, it's very difficult not to get addicted to the numbers game uh, when it comes to YouTube. And I think that a lot of your guys' assumptions, um, like a lot of these comments and stuff, definitely would have applied a couple months ago uh like just in last year because youtube was getting extremely stressful for me and i was focused on all of the numbers and stuff like that but now i kind of uh took the initiative to take a step back from that and because of it i am really enjoying where things are at right now with myself with the channel with the community uh i kind of am just doing a much more organic style of like uploading videos where I just kind of upload what I have when I have it, uh, when I feel like it kind of, kind of thing. And to see that specifically not have that much of an impact on my paycheck obviously is just so like thrilling. And I mean, I, I just, I feel blessed guys. Like I don't mean to be talking about the paycheck and, and just YouTube and stuff like that, because I would be doing YouTube even if I had a full-time job. It just means that the videos would be a lot less consistent. That's it. Because otherwise I love doing what I do. You're a straight to the point critic, lol. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm very open about it. Like my most recent, uh, I guess, critique, I would say, uh, would just be like, talking about Trove and the Delves and stuff like that, where I enjoy it for what the content is, but I'm very open about the fact that it was delivered uh, incorrectly. Uh, at least that's what I think, but anyways. I assume you enter Trove, <laughs> do a star bar, three star three five star dungeons, do an hourly challenge, spawn NPCs at your club, and disconnect till the next day. No, dude, I, <laughs> I don't even do that. Most of the time, I don't even log on Trove. <laughs> No, no, in, a, in all seriousness, um, usually I'll log on, check a couple things, see that things are good. Uh, I, It's not that I don't want to log into Trove or anything like that. It's just I've gotten really good at pacing myself so that I don't get burnt out with the game. You like popcorn. Yeah, of course I do. Who doesn't like popcorn? I try not to have too much of it because if I make a bowl of popcorn, I'm eating all of it and then I feel uh, like terrible afterwards. Your love for Trove has only decreased recently. <laughs> Why, why, like, I, I, I can understand you guys thinking that I'm slipping away from Trove, but I don't understand what, like, the only thing that I can assume is maybe because you guys have seen me doing the streams where I'm a lot more tired, uh, or just a lot more relaxed, but don't mistake my lack of enthusiasm in those live streams and stuff for a lack of interest in playing Trove or just playing games in general, because in all honesty, like, like I said earlier, I would not be able to force myself to play these games, let alone Trove, if I wasn't enjoying it. I'm just not that type of guy. You definitely make YouTube videos for the money. It feels like you upload a video every hour. I mean, yeah, I'm making a full-time living from doing YouTube, um, but that is just because my upload schedule has been so crap recently. Uh, I haven't been scheduling my uploads and I'm sorry about that guys and even in terms of uploading more than like usually I try to stick to two videos a day uh, for the most part I try to have trove every day but it doesn't always happen uh, and then for now more recently I have fantasy star minecraft dungeons probably gonna be doing some more destiny videos and stuff like that so those kind of fill out my day and because i'm playing so many different games i try to have at least two videos a day sometimes i just have one it's not that i'm trying to upload too many videos to make money off of them because honestly speaking that's not how it works like my channel would actually do a lot better if i was just doing one video a day rather than two what made you join the mighty lizard faction oh great one i am the reptilian overlord I was overthrown by uh, Garolchen, uh, and then he ended up dying because of he got usurped by his son, whatever. Uh, now I am just openly against the reptilian uprise or the reptilian kingdom, but I myself am a part of the reptilian uprising, where I am not against teaming up with humans, even though you guys are really weird. Assumption: You have a tattoo studio. I don't what I don't quite understand what that. Like, what, 
but no, I, I mean, I have a tattoo studio that I visit downtown. I don't own it, if that's what you're saying. You have legs. Yep, I got legs. I'm not, uh, I'm not PewDiePie. I got, I got legs. See, I can even clap with them. You listen to a lot of punk, uh, also anime songs. No, actually, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm weird. I don't listen to music. Generally speaking, I don't really like much music. Uh, not to say like, oh, I don't like music or anything. There's a lot of songs that I love. It's just, I, for some reason, work better in silence. You only play Trove because you make videos to help out others and it helps your channel grow. I don't know what that, like, I don't understand your guys' thought process towards this. Borderlands.exec, please. You got bored of it, so you won't play it anymore. That's exactly true. I did one, I think I, I forget if I did a stream or a video, but I did a video on Borderlands 3, and then I refunded it right after because it was too boring for me. Like, it's just, I don't know. I, I enjoyed Borderlands 1. Uh, Borderlands 2 I didn't really care as much, and Borderlands 3 to me just felt like more Borderlands, which is great if you want more Borderlands, but I don't really want more Borderlands. You think Trove is getting old and player base is dwindling? There is no future, better leave soon. Jesus Christ, you guys. No, my God, you guys have such a negative outlook towards Trove, I don't understand it. I mean, I do because of the history of Trove, but now that Game Ago is taken charge, they've had consistently really good updates, guys. Like, come on, give them the benefit of the doubt. I know I am. I have no idea where you have seen this at, but I don't know if you already said this or not, but I wanted to know specifically why you took out your piercings as well as stopped wearing your wigs or shaving your head. I don't know which one is right because the misconceptions uh, I've seen, so I'm putting both. Okay. I haven't seen anybody ask that question, if that's what you mean. Um, I took out a couple of my piercings because they became very uncomfortable. Uh, you guys might remember in some of my older videos, I had a nose piercing that was always annoying. And even now that I've taken the nose piercing out, it's still really annoying because there's an internal scar in my nose and it just always, it's really annoying. And then I had an eyebrow piercing way back in the day. Uh, but eyebrow piercings are very, very particular because there's so many veins in here. It never fully healed for me. It was always very uncomfortable. Uh, same with my uh, same with my industrial piercing. I kept this one back here, but this part at the front was always uncomfortable. You like frog? Yes. Yes, I do. I really like Merc. I wish that he was still around, but he's been busy with real life stuff, so he's pretty much dead to me. <laughs> I don't mean that to sound as negative as it does. Uh, I obviously still talk with him, just not very often. <laughs> I just got a new laptop and I downloaded Trove. It runs okay, but my question is, how do I enhance performance? I don't know how that's an assumption about me. Uh, I guess to turn that into a comment about me, um, I have a God computer. That's why I can run Trove as well as I do. I don't, like, what do you guys want, man? What is your sexuality if you're open to it? Uh, I'm straight? Like 100%, I have no judgment towards other people's sexuality though. I just don't really talk about these types of things on the channel because I don't really feel that it's my business to know other people's sexuality and I don't think it's other people's business to know mine kind of thing. But I'm not against like answering these questions or anything. That's kind of the whole point of this video, right? Assumption, you don't like YouTube or making content, but you don't have any other way of making money. That's a pretty, that's a pretty fucked up assumption, honestly speaking. If I wanted to get a real job, I would. Like, what are you talking about? This is why I kind of want to have more videos like this, where not necessarily responding to assumptions and stuff, but I want to have videos where I'm responding to comments and laugh you lose and stuff like that. Kind of more generic YouTube content, uh, because I feel like that'll be a really good way that a lot of new people coming to the channel will understand where I come from and the type of person that I am. Because I I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I used to have very, very regular videos where I would kind of, uh, usually I would do it like once a month or once every week, uh, where I would have a video kind of a heart to heart to level with you guys and let you know, this is where I stand, this is where things are going, this is what's going on in my life, here's the drama or not the drama around all the YouTube stuff. Uh, but I obviously had to kind of move away from that just because, I don't know, I, I, I still want my videos to be a source of positivity. And uh, not to say that my life and stuff going on in my life is inherently negative, uh, but it's like stuff like that I felt less and less comfortable with 
um, you know, just sharing these personal feelings and stuff like that. And that's why a couple months back, I ended up having the video where I finally opened up to you guys and basically told you that I didn't want to have this family friendly, always happy persona with you guys anymore. And instead was a more down to earth me in real life where I, I swear and I'm just more open about the things that I want to criticize and talk negatively about. But generally speaking, what I'm doing is still hopefully trying to end up just making your guys' lives a little bit better and to, I don't know, just make you smile. Like that's, that's the whole point of everything that I do. And that is my top priority, has been my top priority for as long as I can remember with YouTube. And you gotta remember that the majority of my time here on YouTube, I wasn't making money from doing it. You know, maybe a couple bucks here and there, but I, I, I caught a break and got very, very fortunate with the Trove game, which I'd already been playing for a couple years, suddenly giving me, you know, a, a full-time living from doing YouTube and consistently at that, I might add. I don't know. I, I don't mean this video to be going off topic or being ranty or anything like that, guys. I, I enjoy what I do, okay? Wholeheartedly, I love doing what I'm doing. Uh, I love the positivity that we've had in the community, even though I'm very, very surprised at how negative uh, a lot of these comments were. Or maybe it's just that I'm taking them negatively uh, because I see it as, I, I guess it's kind of negative judgment towards me uh, and why I'm doing it. And I feel bad that that is the conception of why I'm doing YouTube. And it makes me want to figure out a way that I can improve uh, improve my way of delivering content to you guys so that you don't feel that way. Thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, I, I do intend on doing more like comment related videos and yeah, laugh you lose where we look at like reddits and stuff like that. Uh, I also still want to use the community tab a lot more for certain topics like this. Not, not necessarily assumptions, but maybe we'll end up having Q and A's uh, a little bit further down the line uh, about, I don't know trove and just life and stuff like that but anyways i don't mean to ramble about any of that uh i've just been spending a lot of time trying to set up all this stuff you know uh i also want to try and get like a background so that i don't always have to edit out my green screen anyways thanks for watching guys really appreciate it smash like sub for more hopefully you enjoyed this video and i really really hope that i was able to give you a better understanding of the type of person that i am stay up gamers